Hi, Don and Don. This is uh, Amanda with Digital Velocity, and I spoke with Don this morning about um, your marketing and your website. Um, so here's the screencast video that I told you that I would shoot for you. Um, before we look at your website, I kind of wanted to take you over to Google Business. So um, this is your Google Business listing, and you actually have a duplicate listing, which might be part of the reason why you're not ranking in the map pack area. Um, so there's you know two two listings here. So this one needs to be closed, the one with no reviews. Um, so that's that's the first thing. But secondly, so kind of what I was explaining on the phone this morning is when you search for, you know, Roofing Contractors Olympia, there's basically two sections of a web page. So this part right here is called the map pack. Usually there's three or four businesses listed right here. Um, and then this is the organic listings down below here. So they take separate things to get into each of these sections and you kind of want to get into both of them so you're taking up as much real estate on page one of Google as possible. But um, So to get into the Google Map Pack, you need to have an optimized Google business listing, um, which basically is you know making sure that your categories are correct, that you don't have any redundant categories, um, that your all your information is correct, your phone number, your address, uh, making sure that you have, you know, they give you a 750 uh, character area to write your description. So making sure that your description is fully written out with some keywords thrown in there, uh, making sure that you have high quality images. And then we geotag those images um, for an extra little boost for SEO as well. Making sure that your reviews are, are you know, there. We With past clients, um, we have helped them by sending out or, you know, uh, making a flyer for them that they could send out to their customers to kind of you know generate some reviews um, because I know that reviews getting reviews from customers are, it's like pulling teeth but um, they're super important for your Google business listing so basically you know making sure that this whole thing is optimized and then the other part of it is um, they're called citations so that your your business name address and phone number as it's listed on Google in different directories across the web so places like Yex, Yellow Pages, BBB um, anywhere that you can have a business directory listing and so we go in and we build out 200 of these for all of our clients so that you far surpass your competition and it takes them quite a while to be you know catch back up to you um, right now I, this is a tool that I use you're coming in at 36 citation sources and your competition has 39 but this is just this tool isn't super accurate but you can you know they're beating you that's kind of the point so um, but yeah so those are the things on your Google business listing that I can tell you about and then um, as far as your website goes so Google really likes to see between 1500 and 2000 words of content on your home page um, so beefing up the content here would be um, my first step on your website um, you, the more content you have the more ability you know the more chances that you get to target keywords you can only target one keyword per 125 to 150 words of regular content otherwise Google sees you as as keyword stuffing so you know the more content you have the more opportunity you have to target those keywords um, and then you know just looking at your website here there's a few things that I would do in, in kind of split this up into other pages so that you have separate pages here um, and then your reviews and the customer comments are kind of the same thing so I would combine those um, let's see what else there was something else I wanted to say um, let's see I know this um, the the videos down here at the bottom like that kind of this one pops out and I'm not sure whether these are on YouTube or not. I, I couldn't tell them the source code, but um, oh, one thing, that's what I did want to mention. So I, I was telling you, um, you know, I didn't know where your site was built and I did take a look at that. Um, and I think that it is built on a site called Dutta, which is separate from what we do. Um, we do WordPress and Snaps. And so I have a support ticket into Dutta to see if I can take a look at what their builder looks like. Um, because I, I think that it's similar to what I currently build on and if it is if it's something like where I don't have to learn a whole new builder um, but it's similar to what I'm used to using then I would be willing to 
um, just stick on data and build, you know, whatever I needed to build for you on there. As long as it's, you know, like I said, I don't have to learn the whole platform. Um, so I've got a support ticket out to them right now to check on that. Um, cause I did take a look and data is pretty good for SEO. You're able to access the things that you need to access. Like I was mentioning why we don't use, um, like Squarespace and Wix and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, that was something I wanted to mention about that. Um, and then taking a look at the back side of your website. So <clears throat> this is a tool I use called Arefs and this basically tells me everything I need to know about the back end of your site. So here's the UR and the DR score and you can see you're really low here. Um, so basically this is like the trust that Google has in you that you are who you say you are and you do what you say you do and the power that's being driven to your website and how you drive power to your website is by um, by backlinks and so backlinks are basically like any other website that has a link that leads back to you so if there was a blog post about you know roofing in Olympia <clears throat> um, then it ha there was a link that led back to your, your site and, and they shared their power with you it would be called a do follow link um, so that's that's what your backlinks but you you know you have 78 but you'll see here um, why you're being beaten out um, the referring domains are just the websites that host those backlinks keywords is this is a really important part this is how you show up for all the terms in um, you know showing up in the Google search um, you're getting 353 traffic right now which is pretty good um, and then taking a look at your competitors so this is Valentine roof um, one thing I notice is they're actually in Issaquah but they're ranking top in Olympia so and the re how they're doing that is this is what I would build on your site too um, let me see here so see how they have this our coverage area this is on their home page and it shows all the different um, places that they go to and then these are each pages when you go to this so King County has its own page with all of the cities there um, this is really important for SEO you know making sure that you have your your location pages so that's what these are and that's what I would build on your website to be able to rank you in different places like how he's ranking um, but you'll see here he's got 1500 backlinks um, 341 referring domains 2700 keywords and he's getting 5800 traffic per month um, and this is another one of your competitors so 1200 backlinks 1900 keywords 1500 traffic per month um, they're running paid search so <clears throat> they're getting 1600 traffic from paid search as well so they're actually getting 3100 um, so looking at the keywords um, you actually have some pretty good keywords here and what we do is we we make sure that they're all location specific keywords so that it's people that are in your area that are searching for your services so they're more likely to convert so you do have Olympia roofing Olympia roofing contractors you know and you're in pretty good positions for them as well you know second positions you know six seven so you're getting like 112 traffic from roofing Olympia um, 300 people are searching for that a month it's got a pretty high keyword difficulty. Um, you're getting 112 traffic and you're in second position for that. So you can kind of see, you know, you're getting traffic from all of these keywords right here. But when you come down here, all the rest of the keywords that you're ranking for, you're on the third, fifth, seventh, you know, page for. So it would be about building backlinks to these words too to get you ranking for these ones and then finding any other missing keywords that you are not ranking for that your competitors are. Um, and and checking out the global keywords too because you know for searches like you know roofing contractor near me those aren't considered location specific because they're you know global for for the whole United States so um, but we still like to target those ones because they do bring in traffic so you see that they're they're showing up for Kent and I'm not sure exactly where you know where all you service but um, you're really only showing up for Olympia keywords right now and, and then you have like a few different Tacoma keywords but if you look here like roofer and Kent there's 600 people that are searching for this word per month and it's a zero keyword difficulty which means that you could see yourself ranking for that in the first you know month or two um, so you know there's a lot of opportunity here a lot another 600 with another yeah there's a ton of, of 
keywords here for different areas that I'm that are I'm probably pretty sure are in your service area. Um, but yeah, so those are kind of the, some of the ways that I could show you that you know why they're beating you and some of the ways that you can kind of work on you know overtaking them. Um, I hope that you found this helpful in kind of giving you an idea of where you're currently sitting at. And um, if you'd like to schedule a meeting to get more in depth and, and kind of talk about your goals and how I might be able to help you, um, just reach back out via email or you can give me a call and we can set up some time to do that. Thanks and have a great night.